Manish Pabrai just bought Warrior Matt Cole and he made it almost 15.5% of his US stock portfolio. And I have to say, it is an interesting company. In his book, The Dando Investor, and in his lectures, Monish teaches us to be shameless cloners. So let's take a look at this company, let's analyze it and value it to see, should we copy him with this investment? Warrior Medco is a US-based supplier for the global steel industry. The company exclusively mines metallurgical coal, crucial for steel production, and does not engage in thermal coal mining. So the first very important thing to note is that the world has alternative energy sources besides coal, but metallurgical coal is essential to the production of steel. So in the next few years, we may not use coal to produce energy, but we will use it to produce steel. That is a huge advantage of Warrior Met Coal. If you were to invest $1,000 into this company at its IPO in April 2017, you could buy around 55 shares. And now they would be worth something close to $3,133. And this company also pays dividends, so in that time you would get $1,450 as dividends. So if we add together the current value of shares and the dividends, we get $4,583. And that is a gain of 358% in seven years. But of course, future results don't have to look anything like the past results. So let's take a look at the company itself. Individual Insiders, that is an X. 1.8% of the company is owned by Individual Insiders, and we would like to see this number over 2%. So the management has some skin in the game, we would like it to be a bit more, but it's not bad. And are individual insiders buying? That is a check. Alan Schumacher, who is an independent director, bought 2,000 shares in the last quarter. So far, so good. And do super investors own this company? That is also a check. Two super investors own this company. And are they buying right now? That is a check. Third Avenue Management sold almost 300,000 shares in the recent quarter, but Monish Pabrai bought almost 630,000 shares. And that is 1.2% of the entire company. So it's not a small bet. <laughs> Return on invested capital, that is a check at 25.2% median return. And we want to see this number higher than 10%. So that shows that the management is doing a nice job. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 28.5%. And the industry average is just 10.2%. So Warrior Met Call has some serious pricing power over its competitors. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is a check. They bought back 1.4% of shares since the IPO. So it's not a huge change, but it is moving in the right direction. And the debt? It is a check. It would take less than a year to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. So that shows that this company is not likely to get into any financial problems anytime soon. Revenue growth, that is a check at 15.1% compound annual growth rate. And we would like to see this number higher than 10%, so the revenue is growing really nicely. And what about free cash flow growth? That is an X at minus 7.8%. That is not good. In the last few years, free cash flow is going down. But we have to remember that it is a very cyclical industry. 
So we would have to dive much deeper to really understand where we are in this cycle. Because this can be a red flag, but at the same time, it may not. If we look at the average price of metallurgical coal, we see that it is way down compared to its high in 2022. So this may be just cyclical. And earnings per share growth? That is also an X at 1.1% growth. So even though the price of this kind of coal is not very high, they still manage to have some growth. But of course, it is nowhere near to what we would like to see. And that is just the beauty of cyclical industries. The dividend yield is 0.6%. So shareholders can expect to get 32 cents annually per every share. But this company has a hybrid dividend policy, so they pay a small dividend every quarter, and if the results are good, then they pay a special dividend as well. And that can change the whole picture. And the payout ratio? That is an X at 3%. And we want to see the payout ratio somewhere between 20 and 50%. It is very low, so what it means is that it is a safe dividend. But if you want to concentrate your investments on dividends, then you could expect to get a bigger portion of the earnings. And what about the dividend growth? It is a check at 7.7% five-year growth rate. But in case of this company, the dividend is very unstable, because like I said before, they use a hybrid dividend policy. And if you want to learn more about dividend policies and strategies and everything concerning dividend investing, then you can check out my course, Dividend Investing for Beginners. The link is in the description. Price to earnings ratio is just 6.2, so that is very low. That suggests that this company may be nicely priced at the moment. But to properly value it, we will use a discounted cash flow formula and we will make three scenarios of its future growth. So in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 2% for the first five years and then 1%, in the medium 4% and then 3%, and in the high scenario 6% and then 5% growth. So the low scenario shows a story in which the company is almost not growing in the coming years. Medium is close to the predicted average growth for metallurgical coal market, which is 4.3%. And the high one is predicting a nice above average growth, but nothing close to the 15% revenue growth that we saw in the past. So with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $60, in the medium $68, and in the high scenario $77. But we have to always apply a margin of safety to those prices. I use a 30% one. And with such a margin, we get in the low scenario $42, in the medium $47, and in the high one $54. And the current price is around $57. So it is not cheap, but it looks like a company that is close to its fair value. I think there are a number of things we have to take into consideration when thinking about investing in Warrior Met Coal. One, it has a really nice financial health and it has a huge advantage over its competitors when it comes to the pricing power. Two, it is currently nicely priced. Nothing crazy, but it looks like a fair price. And if the company is really good, then it may be an opportunity. Three, the company went through Monish Pobrais filters. It does not mean that we should invest in it, that it is a great company or that its stock will go up. But if you do your own due diligence, you dig deeper, and after all of that, you like the company, 
then the fact that an investor like Monish also likes it can give you a little bit of encouragement. But there is also one last thing. It is a cyclical industry. And the analysts predict that the price of metallurgical coal will not go up anytime soon. So that is why it is a tricky situation. But easy games are no fun, right? If you enjoyed this video, you may want to see my analysis of Alpha Metallurgical Resources, which is another meaningful investment for Monish. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.